Hey guys, welcome back. It's Johnny Nomad here. You know who I am. You know who you're listening to. You, you chose me. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? I want to talk to you guys about something I did in the past couple weeks where I did a regular routine versus a scheduled routine. What does that sound like? What does that mean? That's where you just go by your daily life. You do your things. You do your chores. You go to work. You know, um, you pick up the kids. You go to you know soccer practice or whatever it is they do. And then I went ahead and did a scheduled routine to where I scheduled my my day out entirely every day to really see what kind of time I'm losing or how much time I'm spending on the wrong stuff. And I think we all have bad habits of that. And not to say our kids or our family is bad things, but you know, we also have to spend time on our dreams, our aspirations, or even to say you're becoming a small business owner, you're becoming an entrepreneur, you're going to have to really start scheduling things a lot more. All right. So this podcast today is really about that, about you know, scheduling out your days, being more purposeful on your day so you can really achieve what you want to achieve, you know, uh, without focus, you know, you're just going to kind of be wandering around, right? <clears throat> so, you know, today's podcast, we're going to talk about that and what I did and, and, and what I saw the differences of. So, you know, first week I did it was without scheduling, it was just a really regular mundane, you know, Monday through Friday, I'm going to get up. Uh, you know, do what I have to do. You know, I usually take the kids to the bus stop um, since I'm an early bird, um, and they have to get to the bus stop by 7 a.m. Uh, so and I'm already up at 5 o'clock in the morning. So I do that. Then from there, go to work. I stay at work for eight hours, of course. You know, um, that's not including travel time, right? To and from work. You come home from work. Now you're looking at um, maybe stopping off at a store before you get home because you need something last minute. Or um, you come straight home, and now you're looking at dinner time, and then you feel beat, you feel exhausted. And what happened was, that's what happened. I wound up just doing my regular routine. Of course, helping out the wife, whatever. You no, know, honey, do she had listed for me. But I didn't feel accomplished. I just felt exhausted from work. Didn't want to be bothered. And I found that I felt like I had no time to do anything else. And I was so wrong. So the next week. I went ahead and scheduled every single day out the things I wanted to do, whether it was my writing, whether it was my podcast. Um, my other podcast with, with Lovely, my wife, you know, we do ha I have a podcast with her as well called Couples Corner. Um, even editing her YouTube channel that she has, Lovely's Things. And I found myself being more energized, more purposeful, and actually I held myself more accountable because I had this calendar set up. This may not work for everybody, but it worked for me. Um, and I, I felt like I had more time during the day than I thought I did. And I didn't feel as exhausted because I felt like, hey, when I get home, I got to do X, Y, Z. So I got to you know, kiss the wife, spend time with her, spend time with the kids. You know, if they have any issues with homework, uh, help them out. Same thing with my wife. You know, she helps them out as well. Sometimes, a lot of times, we do tag team. Um, but then after that, what happens next? And I'm really too tired. Or can I squeeze another hour of two to write or to create a podcast? And I found myself every day finding energy and finding time to do these things. And I felt so accomplished. I really felt like, yo, man, like, wow, I, I really made some strides here this week compared to the week prior where I just let the, the every day, every day come in the way. Right? It just got in the way. I use the excuse of, of 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 just being exhausted from work, and no doubt you're going to be tired. And not to say I wasn't tired when my, my week was scheduled out, but I had this untapped energy because my phone rang and it was a it was a calendar update saying, "Hey, seven o'clock, uh, you need to write." No, so what I did was the hour um, that I got home was a free hour. That's for me to spend time with the family. Like I said, you know, have dinner. You know, tag team with the wife to, to help the kids out with homework, any honey do's that the wife may have. And then after that, it was like, hey, seven o'clock hits, time for you to write. Great. I put myself down for an hour. Time for you to edit. Edit her, uh, her video for her YouTube channel. So from there, I hit podcast. 
And I was knocking things out and I felt good, you know, even down to the point of doing some research for some topics that me and my wife have in our other on our podcast together in Couples Corner. And I found the time to do it. Like, wow, there is more time in the day that I didn't realize I had. And this is where you can either succeed or fail because we, we tend to fail, not to really plan our days right so we can succeed and win every day. You know, we kind of get just caught up in that, in the headwinds, um, that turbulence that's just called life. And it fucking sucks, right? Because, again, you, you feel exhausted. You feel, you feel defeated. You don't feel like you're winning. You don't feel like you're making any progress. And this may be something that some of you may say, no, I, I, I plan my days, I'm fine. And some of you may say, damn, I, I don't plan my days. I don't really get the most out of my time. And I'm not saying you have to live by this law of a calendar. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying for me, it worked out well. Um, and maybe for you, it's a half a day. Maybe you're just reminding yourself of certain things throughout the day. Maybe you're a person who don't need reminders, and that's great. But for me, I got to keep myself on a schedule. Boom, 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 boom. And of course, if there's family time that's, that's, that's wanted more, then great. If it takes up to two hours for family time or whatever or more than that, then you know what? I'm just going to make it happen. But that means I'm going to have to move things to the next day to make sure I got those things accomplished. So as every day went by, you know, I did an audit by the end of the week. I looked at my week and I said, wow, you know, how many pages did I write? How many podcasts did we record? How many videos did I edit? Um... Do I need to adjust the time with the kids more and family more? Do I need to put more time? Um, do we do a movie night on Friday night? You know, do we say that for the weekend? Or am, am I really off on the weekends? Or can I schedule some time when I get up? Like I say I'm an early bird. I usually get up before everybody else. Like two hours, that's, I, I'm just alone really while everyone's sleeping. Can I, can I maximize that time and get things done? And then when people get up and it's time for us to spend time together, it's time to put all the devices away. And make it happen, and I did that, and it 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 worked out well, and I felt I felt good. I didn't feel like I was unfinished. I didn't feel like I was incomplete. And that's something that you guys really have to determine. Like, how are you going to maximize your time? How are you going to feel like you're going to things accomplished for 2019? You know, every day is a new year. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that, but for some odd reason, we wait to the first of the year. To say, hey, I'm going to do something new this time. I'm going to strive for these goals. That's just, you know, really far-fetched. Really, we haven't committed to ourselves. We're just stating it just to state it. And it's unfair to you. It's unfair to your family. You know, if if, if I fill up my goals, but I know I gave them my damnedest and I came very close, I mean, I just have to maybe just readjust my plan. You know, go at it a different way. But if I just do nothing, I still have these dreams. I'm just a dreamer. That's who I am. And you can't go on with life like that. And I don't I don't want to either. You know, so the the goal is for me is to continue using this process that I have. And of course it's gonna improve and 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 get better as I go and discover things. And right now I'm just using my calendar. I'm just using my regular calendar. Um I'm I'm taking notes on my Apple notes and I'm using this simple stuff, I'm not going crazy with it. But if I see if I get more in depth, I'm gonna have to probably maybe buy a couple of apps that's gonna sync up a little bit more, you know, really uh, give me some more features that I may be looking for that I'm not aware of right now. You know, we all tend to not know what we want until we really get deep into uh, what we're doing, and then we're saying, "Hey, you know, it's not robust enough, and I need something more." Um, but man, it, it felt great to be accomplished. It felt like yo, and no doubt, like I said, I'm still tired, but. I held myself accountable. Okay, let me go ahead and do this. And I told wifey about it. She was gun ho about it, you know, and, and and even for her to have time to go ahead and read. And, you know, sometimes having that time of separateness, when they were in the same house, but I was doing my thing, she was doing hers, you don't want to lose yourself, you know. Uh, yeah, we're a couple, we're married, but I want her to still have her goals, her aspirations, and I have to make sure I support her on, on all her endeavors. And the same goes for her to me. And if that means she needs time to contemplate and to record her videos, then we're going to do that. If that means that I need time to write and I'm going to put my headphones in my ear, then, hey, leave me the fuck alone so I can write. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And um, But the kids bother me, of course. They can can interrupt me. They have that free pass no matter what. You know, but uh, for the most part, they don't. They're really good. 
Um, and at the same time, I'm showing my kids and I'm, I'm presenting a path to them that, Hey, you know, daddy works on things. And then there's a result afterwards, you know? So if they want to go after something, I can show them my process. And again, my process is my process. Yours may be different. And then they can use it and develop their own process out of it and, and really make something of it. You know, um, even this past weekend, I was just playing the Xbox with, with my boys and that felt great. We haven't done that in a long time and, and they're older 19 and 17. And, uh, that felt good to connect with them that way because it was like, it was, it was definitely well-deserved and it wasn't scheduled, right? But it was part of family time. And I, and I, and I wanted to make sure we get that in and you have to get that in. It's important. It makes you reevaluate what you're doing. It makes your, your goals feel like, Hey, I, I need to make this shit happen not just for yourself, but for them. Because if, again, if you win, they win. And a lot of people say, hey, you're being selfish. Well, sometimes you have to. Uh, you're going to have to grab that time. You're going to have to make shit happen so then your family could win. You have to speak to your spouse to say, hey, this is what I'm thinking about doing, and it may take away this. Let's try it out for a couple of weeks to see what you think about it. Because you need their insight. You need their input. You know, you may have someone that that's that wants more of your attention. You gotta schedule that in. You guys come to a compromise. What does that look like? You got, then the same thing. Want to get work done? Do your thing. So, you know, this year I really want to finish my urban book. So I have time allotted every day for me to write for two hours, just two hours. No, you know, because if if I feel like, hey, I have a a a storyline that's just going and is, I'm on rhythm, I'm on, on a cadence that just can't break. Then I'm gonna keep that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna just gonna say, hey, two hours up, my bell rang, that's it. No, but once you have motivation, you have your idea, you you know, you're creative, you wanna keep on with that energy. But if I feel like, hey, the two hours is fine, my story went well, great. I'll make some additional notes and move on to the next task. And it just it just makes the day feel like, hey, it's going by, it's not just going slower. And you can do the same thing at work, you no, know, just not just for yourself to be like an entrepreneur. You can definitely schedule yourself out at work, make sure you feel accomplished. Because a lot of times your personal life is going to interject with your work life, right? Because again, like I said, you're going to be away for about eight hours during the day at a regular job, maybe more. Some people are working, you know, 10 hour, four, you know, four day shifts. And um, that's a long time, you know, to be away from home, especially if you have a family. So what are you doing to, to ensure that, you know, their needs are being met as well? So again, like breaking from the routine piece of just your mundane, I'm going to get up and do my regular stuff to schedule something out to be a lot more purposeful in your day. Like it's, it makes a lot of fucking sense to, to accomplish shit, to make shit happen. So that's making phone calls, connecting with people, making things happen. That's what you have to do. I have to tell you right now, like, you know, focusing on certain things and making things happen and, and, and definitely trying to build my wealth with my family is the main purpose and goal for me right now. You know, so I have my vision board up on my on my desktop as my as my background. Uh, so I can look at it every day. You know, I have it on my uh, screen on my phone so I can look at it every single day. Um these are reminders. This is the, this is what you're going after. So like today I'm gonna break down all my goals and really see exactly what I need to accomplish these things and to make them happen. Point blank period. You know, so we got to really set our foot forward. So if you're going to be going to the gym, you know, to go work out in the beginning of the year, then what does that look like for you? How are you scheduling that? You know, does it really work for your schedule? Um, you just have to make these decisions and then make them and, and put them into in, in, into action. And don't ignore your calendar. You know, if, if their calendar gives you a notification, hey, it's time for you to go to the gym. It's time for you to go to the gym. Just go. Make it happen. You'll be happier when you see your results the following month. You know, so have fun with it. Have fun. Educate yourself. Feel accomplished. Get your goals done. You know, make some connections. Like it's, it's you're gonna find so much more shit you're gonna get from it, and then you know, see how your friends and um, outside your inner circle of family, your extended family, gonna say, "Hey, I never see you," or "You're always busy," and that's where you really have to focus on you and say, hey, guys, I'm going to make some time with you. Let me see what that looks like next week. Let's plan something and make that happen. You know, but other than that, 
Go after it. Why not? You deserve it. You deserve to, to have the best, to be the best, and to feel the best. I don't think we work on that too much. We don't work on feeling the best that we can every day. Our minds are kind of just formatted just to get up to work, to go to work to a job that we hate. So let's reformat our brain set, our mental state. Let's work on that. Again, mindset is every fucking thing. So let's go after that. All right, guys, yo, it's been great. If you guys have any questions or topics you want me to touch on, yo, go ahead and send me an email at r.sanino at gmail.com. You can follow me on IG at Johnny's Corner underscore. You can DM me right in there. Um, and let me tell you guys, it's 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 amazing what you can do when you take over and take control of your life. And some people may not agree with you, but fuck them. It's all about what you want. All right, guys. Johnny's out.